We begin today's worship in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, will be thy will be done, done. on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all that is evil. Heal Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I just want to read for you from Psalm 139. It says, O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Brothers and sisters, as we... This is Psalm 139. This is the Psalm of David. As we look at this Psalm... And what the psalmist, what David has to say to us. David is, David is looking at God. You know, and David, a, a, a psalm like this is a psalm of surrender. Where David's looking at God and David's saying, you know everything about me. And then he goes on to say, you know when I rise up. You know when I lie down. You know what I do. If I go to the depths, you are there. If I go to the heights, you are there. And then he says something so beautiful that has very rarely, I, actually before David, nobody has really expressed it so beautifully. He says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? So David so amazingly, brothers and sisters, he even looks at his sin and he said, Lord, even my sin cannot separate me from you because I've given myself to you fully and I understand how much you love me. You'll never leave me. And then he says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And Brown says, That probably is one of the best sentences of great self-esteem that you will ever hear in the word. Of course, until we meet Jesus and then when we are found in Jesus, it's even greater. But this sentence that says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, it means that David has given full credit to his master, to his savior and said, Lord, I had nothing to do with the wonderful way that I was made. I was made because you with your own hands made me. Brothers and sisters, that kind of realization brings about a sense of great holiness. It brings about great value for our lives. It brings about a desire to surrender because we know where we come from. That's what the Lord is calling us to do tonight. The Lord is calling us to surrender. The Lord is calling us to give everything to Him. The Lord is calling us to realize that we are fearfully and wonderfully, we are just not made in a haphazard manner. We are just not made out of the whims of somebody. We're made for a purpose. We're made from a certain perspective so that we can be blessed as the Lord wants us to be blessed. Let's stand up as we call on the Holy Spirit this evening.
die as we look at the Lord Jesus this evening. The word of God says in 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us experience that cleansing right now. Right now. Because it's a cleansing like no other. It leaves nothing behind. It leaves no work for us. Everything is dependent on God. And so if there's anything in our soul, in our spirit, in our body <clears throat> that is not giving God glory right now, that is a block for God to move, just give it to God. Just give it to God. And receive the forgiveness. Receive the healing. <coughs> Please. 
as we continue to worship the Lord, we'll sing the third verse. My brothers and sisters, belief destroys the work of Satan. Belief destroys evil. Because when evil, when the devil came to tempt Jesus, that's all he did. He professed his belief in God's word. Not even in himself. He professed his worship of the Father. He believed. That's it. And so this, this, this evening, as we look at the Lord Jesus, this evening as, as we struggle with some areas in our lives, if you and I decide to follow Jesus and his way of dealing with things, then it starts with that belief. And at, when you, you and I start with that belief, that's the victory. That's the victory. That's the victory. I believe in life eternal. I believe in the virgin birth. I believe in the saints communion. And in your holy church, I believe in the resurrection when Jesus comes again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in life eternal. I believe in the virgin birth. I believe in the saints come. to worship the Lord.
Lord speaking to 18 people here you feel a, a sensation in some part of your body something that you haven't experienced before something that happens only when you worship it is the Lord speaking to you right now maybe it's a sensation of heat or cold a tingling of the hand or a feeling heavy of a certain part of the body the Lord is here right now The Lord is taking us very seriously this evening, very seriously, as we continue to worship the Lord. There are 14 people here. The Lord is saying that you're speaking a lot of lies, even in your daily speech. I request everyone to close their eyes. The Lord is saying you're lying a lot and you don't want to lie but it's coming out. The Lord wants to pray for you this evening. So if you want to get rid of this particular sin then raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. God was not ashamed of you. Raise it high. Raise it high. Lord Jesus, we want to pray for this, for these lies to be removed in your holy and precious name. To be removed right now. Because your word says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. We pray that it's removed. Never again, never, ever again will this tongue and this heart speak something that is against your will. I will speak, Lord, as you give me utterance. I will speak only as you give me utterance. Put your hands down. The Lord is speaking to 18 people here. The Lord is saying you're struggling with lust. Don't put your hands up. Don't put your hands up. But if this is you, if you're struggling with lust, then give your heart to God right now. It starts from there. Lust, pornography, masturbation, temptation of others, fornication, adultery, 
Just give it to God right now. Give it to God right now. The Lord wants to do something in your heart. Give it to God right now. There are eight people here. The Lord is saying that you're tired of being disappointed by people. And yet you continue to go back to people. The Lord is saying, come to me. I will satisfy you. I want to encourage the worship team to speak as the Lord gives utterance. During worship, I saw the vision of three idols, Ganesh, the little Krishna and uh, Durga. Since the Lord is speaking to two people here, the Lord is saying, give it up. The Lord is saying, otherwise I can't enter fully into your life. Give it up. I love you, says the Lord. I'm not forcing you. Give it up. The Lord showed a vision of a white paper boat which was sailing peacefully on still waters. I sense the Lord speaking to five people here. The Lord is saying, even though your life seems very flimsy, seems like it'll end anytime, seems like it'll be derailed anytime, the Lord is saying, my grace is upon your life. And I have stilled the circumstances so that you can be at peace. So that you can be at peace. The Lord is showing a cobra with its hood up, ready to strike. The Lord is speaking to one person here. The Lord is saying, you're contemplating something wrong at your workplace the Lord is saying it is evil trying to tempt you so that it can destroy you the Lord is saying take my grace stay with me let me walk with you do not go ahead with it says the Lord the Lord is showing a hand uh, with nails which are stained and broken sense the Lord speaking to six women here the Lord is saying you feel like you've wasted your life while taking care of your family or while taking care of circumstances over the past few years the Lord is telling you today your life is not a waste the Lord is saying I am the one who has been with you give me your hands let me continue to do my work in you and through you. The Lord is showing a vision of a black helicopter first facing us and then away from us. I sense the Lord speaking to the entire prayer group. The Lord is saying there are many who watch what you do to see if there is any sign of me. The Lord is saying let me flow through you today. Be my witnesses. See a vision of a girl trying to hide in the shadow and afraid of the light. The Lord is asking this girl to come into the light. The Lord is saying, great grace will be yours as you do this. Great grace will be yours as you do this showing vision of a black greeting card I sense the Lord speaking to 11 people here the Lord is saying that you are anticipating a bad Christmas a Christmas filled with darkness the Lord is saying do not be afraid I am the light I will come and save you I see God the Father strengthening the foundations of a house pulling it together I sense the Lord speaking to two people here the Lord is saying spiritually your house is on shaky ground there are fights in the house nobody agrees with each other a lot of lies a lot of antagonism towards each other the Lord is saying he's removing all that he's strengthening your house the Lord is saying surrender 
of showing version for door knob on which number 34 is written i sense the lord leading 34 people to a time of deeper prayer the lord saying come to me each and every day come to me each and every day i will be with you says the lord i see the vision of a golden chariot a model of a golden chariot with uh, seats like lotus i sense the lord speaking to eight people here the lord is saying through your difficulties hold on to me and you will find great fruit in prayer great fruit that like you've never experienced before